What's up guys? Welcome back. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today's test drive is this 1955 Chevrolet. It's got a two-tone paint job, 400 under the hood, power steering, no power brakes, aluminum radiator, disc brakes in the front, set of Kregers all the way around. And of course, it's got a great sound to it. So stick around for that. It's detailed pictures, financing, and shipping at maplemotors.com. And we're going to be picking out the flaws throughout this whole entire video. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Of course, before we take off, look around the interior and check everything out. Place your bets. Do you think the horn works? It's a little game we like to play on the channel here. This one's got lots of nice gauges, tack. Everything's set up in the floor. You can tell she's ready to run. Got the floor shifter. It's got the racing seats. Back seat looks pretty good. Headliner also. I think the only thing you're missing in this one is actual seat belts. I don't even see a single seat belt. It's got everything fast, but no safety. So let's go ahead and start her up here. Fuel pump, ignition switch. Okay, so we're started up. See the vacuum gauge is working, engine temperature is up, oil pressure's up, charging, radio. It's been on, it's not working, blower motor. Nope, not working. Windshield wipers. That switch is stiff. Switch needs to be replaced. Tilt column. Chrome column. Tack. Turn signals. Flashing and flashing. Horn, did you place your bets? Okay, don't give up too soon. I seen a button under the dash. Oh! No way! I thought for sure that would work. Well, horn's not hooked up. Let's hit the road, see what, we'll, what else we can find. Okay, guys, so now I'm gonna get you facing this way a little bit more. Kind of straighten you up here. Got you on the window. You wanna see what I use to make these videos? Look below in the description and get your gear. You can get it through me. It helps me out when you look at the, you know, the Amazon links that I provide. All right, so I haven't driven this yet. I wanna make sure we have gas. We're going to the gas station. There's reverse for you. I'm gonna double check, make sure the hood's down. And it is, it's nice and tight now. All right, this is the first time that I've driven this ride. Let's see what we can do. Well, we had it once before, this was a trade-in. We do take trade-ins all the time. Pressure's at 20, engine temperature's at 190. Gas gauge 
Highway just right above E. We'll be checking it out as well. I'll be back, guys. So you see the ignition here is not going to work. You've got ignition up here. We've also got fuel pump. All right, shuts right off. Ignition switch right there. Okay, twenty dollars worth of premium fuel in this ride here, which was ninety three. It's got that V power, whatever that means. And that's where you put it in. We'll check the gauge. Make sure it works. Oh. Let's see. Hey, look, the gauge does work. So we were low on fuel. Flip the fuel pump up. Sorry, guys. Fuel pump on and your ignition switch. Start it up. And let's roll out of here. set up on the head cam here let's go ahead and roll out engine temperatures at 180 oil pressures at 30 idle too here we go
pretty smooth going down the road. She's definitely peppy. Quite a bit of power to them. Simple to drive. Nice little speed bump in the middle of the road here. Kind of give you an idea. Give her a listen right here. Nice and smooth. Just sitting here and sounding awesome. I don't really have too many complaints about this car. I guess the only thing that I could pick out is the chips on the body. A lot of little chips, a lot of flaws cosmetically. And I'll be going over that at the end here. So stick around. Picking out the flaws is coming up next. <laughs> I'll be back, guys. Later. I'm here to pick out the flaws. Let's walk around this ride. Anything I find, you'll know about it. Detailed pictures, finance, and shipping. MapleMotors.com. Let's get started. Front bumper on this one, the chrome looks nice and clean. You've got a few little chips there behind it. Scuff here. Scuff up here on the side. spot down there at the bottom you got a zip tie holding on to a fireball bottle for the overflow scuff there right on the inside here up here as well chips bubbles up top Coming down the side, little chips, a few little scuffs. You got a little rust popping up here. Edge of the door, scratches on the door itself. See all those little scuffs. Door is hanging a little bit away. marks there on the side back here as well little paint chips chips back here little bubbles back your midsection light scratches on the middle of the door itself A little wavy up here. Scuffs on that inner part. Chips. Notice our trunk has not latched or wanted to latch the whole video. Little spot there. The seal back here has got some cracks. Back window is in good shape. A little seal around it. It's got some cracks in it. Spots there. Chips up on the roof. Coming around the back side here. Mm 
a little bit of rust popping up on this rear bumper small amount of fitting you can see on the trunk it just wouldn't wouldn't latch for some reason I think the latch needs to be adjusted up and see how it's down the edge there has got a lot of little rust bubbles See the rust on the inside of the lid. In, in the trunk itself, you can see where it's been replaced and spattered. Coming down with the lid. Let's see if I can. Nope. I'm not gonna slam it. That was a firm shut there. I'm gonna have to get some adjustments and pull this up so that this will meet. Cause see, it does lock. But that needs to come up, and I don't have the tools with me right now. Or I might, I don't know. Let me look in my bag real quick. I haven't even tried it. I just popped the lock. But let's see. So you can see where it was. Yeah, it's pretty firm in there now. Let's see. Cross your fingers. It's not up enough. Let's try it again. Okay, one more time. Now we're up pretty far. Cool. It's shut. At least it's locked now. Down here around these edges, some little chips. And the trunk is definitely out. It needs to be adjusted all the way around, hinges and all. This side's pretty high here, too. That's probably why they had it so far down, trying to get it to close more. Little bubbles there. Light scratches up here on the back window. Coming down this side. Light scuffs. Shut this door. Chips, a couple bubbles on the edge. Bubble in the corner here. little scratch chip there chip here and there little scratch up here in the front back your midsection little scratch mark there on the side chip here there got some waves in the paint some up here too little chemical peel issues light scratch chips in that inner portion there some little rub marks on the inside chips up here Got your front windshield in a decent shape. A little wave there. Seal there's older, kind of crumbly. Is that glue? I think that's glue. This mirror's loose. Little spot there. 
mark here on the inner side. Bubbles up here by the roof. Chips in the middle in the back. Some dents up there. Chips. Scuffs. Chips in the middle there. Let's go ahead and open her up, look at the interior, start that motor up again. Door panel on this one is in good shape. Seal does not look bad. Your jams there. A little bubble. Carpet's decent. Back seat. Pretty good. Package tray. Not bad. Headliner. It's also not bad. Missing the cover there. A little wrinkly right here in this spot. Passenger seat and door panel look good. <laughs> this car you don't have to have the key really They don't have the springs on the hood, so I got a prop here. Wavy up here, cracks in the hood, line there across the middle. Also, here, big old chip. Wavy in these corners. Also in there. Guys, I appreciate you watching. Detailed pictures, financing, and shipping. MapleMotors.com. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit subscribe and share. I'll see you in the next one. Later.